it's David C. Jones, and this is Before and After, and I'm here to see Forgiveness at the Stanley Theater by Hiro Kanagawa. Kanagawa. This is a co production between uh, Theater Calgary, I think, and the Arts Club Theater, and it's about the uh, Japanese, the horrific and vulgar uh, Japanese internment that happened during World War II here in Vancouver. Um, it is adapted from a book, and one of the challenges of adapting a book is books often are filled with detail and narration, and as well as a lot of characters. So it'll be interesting to see how this translation uh, to the stage uh, works. Uh, he's a lovely writer. I've seen some of his work before. So uh, I assume it will be good. Uh, we shall see. I also assume it will be quite harrowing. Um, so I'll let you know after. Well, this is my second adaptation. And what I've learned is that in order to be successful, an adaptation can't be too faithful to the original. You have a responsibility to obviously the original work, those who love the original work. Uh, in this case, I also have a responsibility to actual people, living people who uh, are represented because the story is ultimately about them. But then you have a, a responsibility to write a good play. So rather than looking at a greatest hits list of favorite moments from, from the original, you have to really dig into what makes the original work on an emotional level, on a human level. It's a family story, right? It's Mark Sakamoto's family memoir. The story is infused with a depth of love, which does come from Mitsue Sakamoto and her descendants on the Japanese Canadian side. And then obviously on, on Ralph McLean's side too, tremendous love and courage and you know, devotion not only for his own family but for his buddies who went to war with him. And so as a playwright, I'm always looking for those moments that are revelatory of character, those moments when a character can reveal who they are, what they're feeling, what they want, what they need. Um, and I think it's those moments that create the spark of recognition between the characters and what's happening on stage and people in the audience. When the people in the audience recognize those revelatory moments as, as something that they can themselves relate to, that's what creates that magic connection between character and, and audience. Okay, here we are after, and this is my friend Linda, who I took to the show. I've taken you to shows before. You have. Uh, You're my theater boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we should be laughing. <laughs> it's a pretty heavy play. Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, but... Um, the situation, not the play. Yeah, this, I think the situation about adapting the book was a bit challenging, because Act 1, I felt, was just like racing by. Like, the cast was literally running across the stage times. Uh, the I was amazed at some of the timing. Like, you had, yeah. you can't, like, forget about, you know, muffing a line or forgetting something. Because so. you had to run. Yeah. Because um, there was just so much stuff happening in Act 1. The stagecraft is brilliant. This, yeah. uh, the animation and stuff. Some of the actors yeah, are good. like the multimedia aspect yeah. of it. So yeah, yeah. Uh, Act two, it slows down and it starts to settle in. So uh, it becomes much more powerful, much more engaging. I think. Yeah. 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 Um, no, it's interesting though. I just realized in this, uh, this uh, uh, although you, you, uh, this is how I felt. I haven't have checked with you yet. I was totally engaged, particularly in Act two. I was never moved to tears, though. I was never... No, no. no. Um, like, there was... Like, spot. you're horrified. Sorry. Yeah, and there was a spot where I felt I should have been moved to tears, but I I, I wasn't that invested in that, in that situation. Right. So, uh, yeah. I don't want to say anything because I don't want to spoil it. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, yeah, if you don't know... Uh, you want to see some good acting, some brilliant yeah. stagecraft. Yep. And you know nothing of uh, the uh, uh, horrors of uh, the Japanese, how the Japanese were treated during World War II, then you should see forgiveness. Yes. 
Yes. Yes, and I thought it uh, the the play, the story, did a brilliant job of portraying ordinary Canadian lives of different cultures being interrupted. Oh, I like that. Yes. Oh, I like and that. The, the consequences and the what's the word? Like the, the low out debris that spreads beyond just one lifetime. And generational. Yeah. generational. Yeah. And it was a huge cast, by the way, too. When they came out to bow, you're like, I thought it was a huge cast. Yes. I thought it was. <laughs> so that's at the Stanley Theater. Yeah. Uh, 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 on on, on Gravel Street. On Gravel Street. So.